Hello and welcome to Fairfax Public Access, home to Fairfax County's public access TV and radio station. I'm Jay Adowskin, Director of Training here at FPA, and you are watching our orientation video intended to give you an overview of all the options we have available here at the station. Hope you find the information interesting and become part of our great organization. As an overview, I wish to add that we are a non-profit member-based organization founded to manage the public channels and production facilities provided to Fairfax County residents. FPA is considered a PEG station, meaning public, education, and government station. We've been operating for over 30 years, and funding for the services is provided by Verizon Files TV, Cox, and additional funding is generated through membership, training, and fundraising. Part of our mission is to provide you with the opportunity to learn the skills and technology essential to create television and radio programs. Our members can gain access to all the tools needed to pursue this interest and apply what they learn in our workshops, by volunteering on shows, or by creating a show of their own. Public access stations provide a forum to all. The key to our success is the public interest and the involvement of residents in the community. We invite you to get involved and work in actual television or radio programs, which are then cablecast throughout the cable providers in Fairfax County and a few other local jurisdictions. Hello, let's talk about our channels for a moment. All programs created at FPA are cablecast through one of our four available cable TV channels. We begin with channel 10, considered by many our flagship channel. This is an English variety channel which airs local programming indicative of the diverse lifestyles and interests of the area. Channel 30, WRLD, is considered our international channel, airing programming in multiple languages produced by and for the multicultural region. Channel 36, Spirit, is our religious, spiritual, and philosophical channel open to a wide variety of beliefs in the area. And channel 37, Radio Fairfax, is our cable and webcast channel, which airs a unique freeform mix of radio programs. You can also listen to it using the TuneIn radio app or through our website. The visual component of channel 37 is also our community bulletin board. As the public access station to Fairfax County, Virginia, the franchise agreement between the county government and the cable providers only requires them to air our channels in Fairfax County and the cities of Falls Church and Fairfax. However, as a bonus, Verizon carries our channels in the same jurisdictions and these additional areas. Details regarding how to view our channels and our coverage areas are available on our website. Hello, if you're interested in getting involved at FPA, becoming a member is quite simple. You do not have to be a resident of Fairfax County, and in fact, many of our members live in DC, Maryland, and other localities. However, the minimum age to join is 15. The only exception to this rule is for students that become involved by attending our summer camp programs. These are open for ages 12 through 18. There are many reasons why people decide to join FPA. Some learn that we offer specific equipment or software training programs, which they wish to learn for their own personal projects. Others may join because they wish to pursue this as a hobby. Local area students join to gain production experience, to build a resume, or develop a portfolio of their work. Yet others may join because they already have a show idea or are affiliated with an organization interested in creating a show to share with the community. To join, individuals simply need to complete a copy of our membership form, provide a copy of a picture ID, such as a driver's license, or provide a copy of a utility bill that verifies their home address, and then complete the $26 annual fee. The membership form includes a section to mark your in-county or out-of-county status. This information and your proof of home address is required because in-county residents that join FPA can attend our annual member meeting and vote in the board member elections. Out-of-county residents do not have the option to vote, but all members are welcome to attend this meeting. It's a great opportunity to network with others, learn about any future equipment updates and future station plans. Once ready, membership registrations can be completed in person during our station hours of operation by downloading the form and mailing all items to the attention of the training department, or by emailing the documents to the training department and then calling to complete the fee by phone with a Visa or a MasterCard. Once a member, the next time you're at the station, we will be able to complete your station membership ID badge, 
include you in our station announcement e-group and help you join any upcoming training workshops you may be interested in. Hello! If you decide to join FPA, you'll gain access to our training programs, which are designed to teach the use of our broadcast quality equipment and station policies. Whether in person or online, these workshops cover various components of pre-production, production, and post-production through a mix of lectures, hands-on demonstrations, and video presentations. They vary in length from a single three-hour session to courses lasting eight sessions, their prices vary depending on the length and content, but as part of our services, the use of our equipment is always free, as long as users are certified and working on projects approved to air at the station. Our core training courses are designed to cover our essential station equipment and production policies. Upon completion, this allows members to begin using our production equipment as volunteer crew members or begin working on their own approved show idea. Beyond the core training, we also offer additional courses designed to help producers improve the quality and aesthetics of their content by expanding their skills in non-equipment areas such as talent, voiceover, makeup for television, screenwriting one-on-one, -on -one, and the art and science of interviewing. Course descriptions and a copy of the latest semester schedule is always available online. Beyond this video orientation, if you wish to learn more about FPA, visit the facility, or are looking to join an in-person orientation or a future training workshop, we encourage you to visit our website or contact us at the training department. Hello, let's take a closer look at some of our core classes. For instance, members interested in radio should consider enrolling in the radio production class. This class covers the use of the radio studio equipment as well as our radio programming policies. Once you're certified and, appro and upon approval of your show proposal idea, you can begin using the radio studio and work on your own show. Additional radio-related courses you may wish to consider include Audacity for audio editing, Adobe Audition for those interested in learning a more professional level audio program, or other courses designed to improve the quality of the content, such as voiceover and the art and science of interviewing. For members interested in television production, the first class to complete will be the Intro Studio Camera Workshop. The name, as the name suggests, students learn the use of the television studio cameras, and upon completion, this allows members to begin volunteering as camera operators, earn experience, and network with other members and producers. Do you have a show idea already? Then our core producers workshop class teaches all the policy needed for a member to become certified as an in-house television producer. Upon certification of this class and approval of a show idea, producers can then begin reserving our equipment and begin planning their crew and their production sessions. For TV studio equipment certifications, we recommend the All-in-One Studio Package course. In it, students learn all the equipment and the positions needed to operate two of our studios, named A and B. Our members can opt to enroll in the individual components that are part of the Studio Package course, such as audio for TV, technical directing, studio lighting, CG for beginners, and so on. We also offer a standalone course in our virtual studio named Studio C. For outside productions, we have a field package course for those who may be interested in learning news gathering or documentary style productions. This class covers the usage of all our field camera equipment and gear. Lastly, for members interested in learning post-production, we offer several classes that teach video editing and motion graphics, such as Adobe Premiere and After Effects. As a benefit, always remember that once you're certified on the use of our computer lab, studios, or field equipment, the use is all free as long as you're working on programs approved to air on our channels. We recommend volunteering on shows as often as possible to practice and improve your newly acquired skills. Do note that FPA has a partnership with the Fairfax County Public Schools Adult and Community Education Program. Each semester, a few of our courses are selected and promoted through their catalogs and their website. To help the partnership, registrations for these courses have to be completed through them instead of us at the training department. However, students must still be members, follow the same rules, and the fee and curriculum content is all the same. If, if the course you are interested in 
is not listed as an ACE in our course schedule, then to enroll, register, and complete a payment, simply contact us directly at the training department. We currently do not have the option to complete payments online. Instead, payments must be completed by mailing us a completed class registration form and fee, or once the class registration invoice has been issued, you can also complete the payment in person, or again, give us a call to complete the fee over the phone. Please note that class sizes tend to be small in order to provide the necessary training and hands-on time. Early registration is always recommended, and pending the availability, registrations are officially closed 48 hours before the course starts. Hello! With so many training options available, some members may be interested to learn that we do have some discounts which they may qualify for. Our course discount options include a 20% discount for all seniors age 60 plus, a 20% discount for high school or college students upon approval of your school ID or proof of enrollment, and we also offer a volunteer credit program as an incentive that helps lower the course fees. Let me share some details regarding our volunteer program. Once you have completed all the equipment class requirements and become certified, if you continue to volunteer and, and help other producers in equipment positions for their shows, you earn what we call volunteer credits. For every three hours you volunteer on a show, make sure that you have the producer complete one green volunteer form and then remember to turn it into staff. Not only do we track your volunteer hours in case you ever need a record of them, but each form equals $20 in credits which can help reduce that future class fee. Some extra details to remember about the volunteer program. The credits you earn will expire at the same time as your membership. Credits can only be earned by helping with equipment crew positions you are certified in and those positions listed in the form. We cannot accommodate last minute volunteer credits, therefore only the credits you have earned up to a week before the class start date can be used to lower the fee. Also note that all these discounts options can be combined, but the total discount cannot exceed 50% of the original cost of the course. Additional information regarding our volunteer programs, withdrawal, and refund policies are also available for review on our website. Hello, for those interested in airing shows at FPA, this section is for you. Let's begin with our television options. The content of television programs is entirely up to you, the producer, but as a public access station, all shows must follow our content policy. No lottery, no indecency, and all programs must be non-commercial. Television producers have the option to submit a program proposal for a 28 or a 58 minute program length. Our goal is not to limit your topic content at all, and we welcome all sorts of genres, from news and talk shows to short films and documentaries. TV shows can be pre-recorded or live and follow different airing schedules. We have special. For a special, you can turn in one program at a time. Specials are programs that air during a one-time or time-sensitive basis. Specials are due by the 20th of the month prior to the month airing. Monthly. For this type of show, you will need to have two episodes completed to secure a time slot. Later each month, you will need to turn in one episode per month. Bi-weekly. For this type of show, you will need to have four episodes completed to secure a time slot. Later each month, you will need to turn in two episodes per month. Weekly. For this type of show, you will need eight episodes completed to secure your time slot. Later each month, you will need to turn in four episodes per month. Some extra details to remember. If for a 90-day period you fail to turn in fresh programming for your assigned time slot, your airings may be cut back or taken away. All shows must follow FPA's technical standards and accepted formats for cable casting. This information is available in our operations manual and online. For further details, you may also contact our programming department. Now let's look at radio show options. Similar to television programs, the content of radio programs is entirely up to the producer, but as a public access station, all shows must follow our content policy. They are no lottery, no indecency, and all programs must be non-commercial. All new radio producers can be slotted a weekly one-hour radio program, 58 minutes. There are no alternative slot options for radio shows. If you are planning to use our radio facilities to create the content of your show, then after completing the radio production course, 
you may submit your program proposal idea and contact the director of programming to discuss time slots and show content. Radio producers have the option to request a live or a pre-recorded studio time slot as part of their initial proposal. However, if a radio show is live, producers are expected to show up for their time slots each week. A few absences during the season are permissible, but you should have a pre-recorded show on file that can air any time during the year. Hello, let's look at another option FPA has for producers. If your intent is to air a TV or radio program created elsewhere or with your own equipment, then the steps regarding our training and certifications are not necessary. As long as you are a member and your show follows our technical standards and content policy, you can submit a complete hard copy of our TV or radio program proposal form for review. Upon approval, you may then contact our programming department to check airing slots or help with any submission related questions. There are no additional costs for airing your program on our channels. You won't be able to use any FPA facilities or equipment for the production of your show. Instead, your show will be considered an outside production, but you'll have access to air it on one of our channels and have it cablecast to residents of Fairfax County. When ready, you may visit our site to download a copy of the TV or radio program proposal form. Now let's talk about distribution for a moment. In-house TV or radio producers that have gone through the proper certification process and create a show in our facilities or with our equipment must take into account our programming distribution policy. As a nonprofit station, in-house productions must always be commercial free and first air in one of our channels. This is true for all shows using our facilities or equipment. Once it has aired, if you wish to distribute the program elsewhere, whether online, your website, another channel, then within the first year of the airing date, you must always obtain permission from our programming department before doing so. Permission is usually granted, but we must guarantee that no revenue is being generated from use of our non-profit equipment. Once the one year term passes, you no longer need to get permission and can distribute your show as you see fit. Um, with that being said, to help offset the cost of materials, supplies, food, and, and other production-related expenses, FPA does allow producers to create an underwriting account with us. This allows producers the option to explore having a sponsor support their show. As a rule, all producers planning to incorporate a sponsor as part of their show must follow the appropriate guidelines for on-air credits and announcements. Submit an underwriting approval form and create an underwriting account with our office manager. Fairfax Public Access follows the PBS Red Book guidelines on this. Monetary donations must be made out to FPA and the station retains a 15% conduit fee in order to manage the account. Since, uh, since we are a nonprofit station, monetary donations can be used for tax deduction purposes, but we recommend all producers to carefully review this and many of our other policies by reading our operations manual. Copies are available for pickup at the station and a downloadable PDF file is on our website. Hello, let me share a few other station services you may find interesting. In seeking to serve our community, FPA engages in a number of outreach initiatives designed to strengthen our ties within the community. We value other nonprofit organizations, agencies, institutions, and community groups, and are willing to lend assistance to help efforts by offering a medium through which their message can reach the, the general public. Our Community Corner Bulletin Board is one such service. The visual components of Channel 37 airs a series of slides about local Fairfax County nonprofits. We can create a slide for your organization and include a short description, logo, photo, and contact information. This slide will then air as part of our 24-7 bulletin board. The only limitation is that slides can only include general information and avoid time-sensitive or event-specific announcements. For additional information, you may contact our Director of Programming for support. You may also contact our staff if you're interested in airing a public service announcement that you currently have. Or if you don't currently have a public service announcement, you can inquire about having one created for you through our production services. Questions about such outreach opportunities, fee for hire services, studio rentals, or partnerships may be directed to our Director of Development.
Hello. As part of our ongoing member training efforts, special topic workshops and meet and greet events are also scheduled and shared with our members throughout the calendar year. Tips and recommendations are regularly posted through our social media platforms and members can also take advantage of some of our mentoring programs. One such resource is our TB mentoring program, which is offered through the production department for TB producers who have successfully completed the producer's workshop course. Once your show ID has been approved, you may be wondering which studio would be best suited for your show, or maybe you're wondering how many cameras you could take out to the field. If you got pre-production questions like these, our staff can point you in the right direction. If you would like some pre-production assistance, our director of production is available to help. Radio producers with an approved show have a similar mentoring option and can schedule a short one-on-one -on -one session with our programming department to receive further assistance on their idea. Additionally, approved radio producers can request to join our radio production Google group and participate in upcoming Radio Guild meetings. We also have a great free staff production program for first-time TV producers approved to use our TV studios. Producers might need to wait a couple of months to shoot, pending our staff availability. However, as you wait, you may begin shooting using the volunteers or work on developing your content further. Once you have an appointment with our staff, we will assist you in all studio equipment related roles, edit the show, and help develop all the graphic elements. Plus, this opportunity is available for three studio sessions, giving producers the option to complete multiple episodes with our staff. Hello. Now that you know more about FPA, let's show you some of the facilities and equipment our members have access to use. These two broadcast quality studios are full of capabilities. Our Studio A has a fully functional kitchen set and newsroom set. The studio is all pre-lit for whichever set you intend to use, saving you setup time during the production. Studio B's floor plan allows for larger interview shows, performance style projects, includes a green screen, and has multiple lighting setup options. Both Studio A and B share similar model equipment, and by completing the appropriate training course, members can use the equipment in either studio. Studio C is our virtual set facility. Due to the technical aspects of the studio, crew operating this equipment need to be specifically certified by completing the Studio C course. Additionally, whether you are planning a one-person news gathering field production or a multiple camera project, FPA has some top-of-the-line field cameras, light kits, mics, and accessories available at your disposal. The core field package course is key in understanding and operating all this gear. It may look intimidating, but playing with the equipment and practicing is crucial. The more time you spend with all our equipment, whether it's practicing as part of a course, volunteering and helping fellow producers, or testing what works and does not work for your show is what counts. Our radio-related courses are held in either our Radio Fairfax or WRLD studios. Which studio you'll use depends on the type of radio program you plan to create, but both have similar capabilities and equipment. You can schedule in-studio guests or plan their production in a way to have your guests or listeners call in during the show. Our station has all the necessary tools to help you pre-record and then edit your show as well. With the capabilities of computers these days, producers do have the option to either edit their TV shows from home or can take advantage of our high-end computer lab and edit at the station. Either way, for members interested in learning how to video edit using professional level programs, our introductory level courses are a great way to get started. Beyond the editing lab capabilities, FPA also has dub suite capabilities for members looking to copy episodes or transfer media from one source to another. Planning and organizing your show is very important. Lecture style courses like Producers Workshop, Screenwriting 101, and the social media workshops are here for you to attain the skills needed to reach your goals efficiently. Planning your show with a strong pre-production foundation and using all the tools at your disposal to execute the idea and then properly promote it is a goal we wish to share. Hence, our facility is available for reservations as a meeting space for you and your crew. And remember, when in doubt or when you have production questions, our technical advisors are available to help. Hello, thank you for taking the time to learn more about FPA and watching our orientation.
A lot of content was covered in this video, but we hope one of the many member services we have to offer is what you are looking for. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.